Welcome to Color Basics. We've covered the color wheel just a bit already. Now, let's take a deeper look at the colors within to fully understand the magic that's possible with so many hues by diving into Color Basics. The color wheel can be divided into primary, the secondary, and tertiary colors for a grand total of 12 main colors. For simplicity, we'll focus just on the RGB wheel from here on out, since this is what we'll use for e-learning. In the RGB wheel, the 12 main colors are red, orange, yellow, chartreuse green, green, spring green, cyan, azure, blue, violet, magenta, and rose. Let's learn more about these colors by category and find out how they're created. We touched on this a bit in the first lesson, but it's worth repeating. In the RGB color wheel, the primary colors are red, green, and blue. When combined, these colors create white. Hard to conceptualize, but it's true. Secondary colors. Secondary colors are formed by mixing two primary colors together. Again, there are three of them. In the RGB wheel, the secondary colors are cyan, magenta, and yellow. When mixing light, red plus green equals yellow, green plus blue equals cyan, red plus blue equals magenta. Tertiary colors. These are formed by mixing one secondary color with one primary color. There are six in total. Here's how they're formed. Cyan plus blue equals azure. Blue plus magenta equals violet. Magenta and red equals rose. Red plus yellow equals orange. Yellow and green equals chartreuse. And green plus cyan equals spring green. Color temperature. The color wheel can be divided in half by warm and cool colors. The colors on the red side of the wheel are considered warm. The green side of the wheel is considered cool. According to color psychology, different color temperatures evoke different feelings. Warm colors are said to suggest a sense of closeness and energy, while cool colors are more associated with distance and serenity. The 12 colors are highly versatile. We can create shades, tints, and tones of each color by adding black, gray, and white to a base hue to create different variations and effects. Let's talk through that process a little bit more. Shade. The purpose of a shade is to darken the appearance of a base hue. It's created by adding black to a base hue, darkening the color. This creates a deeper, richer color. Shades can be quite dramatic and can also be overpowering. Tint. The purpose of a tint is to lighten the overall base color. It's created by adding white to a base hue, lightening it up. This can make a color less intense and is useful when balancing more vivid color combinations. Tones. A tone is created by combining black and white or gray with a base hue. Like tints, tones are subtler versions of the original color. Tones are less likely to look pastel and can reveal complexities not apparent in the base color. This is a highly common variety and is usually preferred over shades to darken a hue. That's a wrap. Now that you know a bit more about color basics and all of their potential, it's time to learn a bit more about how everything fits together with e-learning. Moving forward, we'll learn more about how you can apply color theory to your own e-learning, graphic design, and even branding projects.